G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Let's do an interesting counting problem from grade 12. It goes as follows. The sum of the base 10 logarithms of the divisors of 10 to the n is 792. What's n? Hmm, okay, okay. That was weird. That was actually a very short question, but actually has me confused. The sum of the base 10 logarithms, okay, I know the word logarithm, of the divisors of 10 to the n, I actually know the word divisors, just another word for factors. So the factors of 10 to the n, so if I took the sum of the logarithms of the factors of that, got that, the answer is apparently 792, and from that piece of information, we're meant to deduce what n is. All right, so it's basically about factors and the logarithms of those factors and then adding them up. So it feels doable. I mean, I feel like the steps to this question, I know what to do. Those words are familiar to me. I just don't know where it's going, don't know how I'm going to get there. So basically, this is set for strategy number one, engage in successful flailing. I've got some ideas of what I need to do, just don't know where they're going to go. All right, so I'll do that. Step one, the factors of these guys. So obviously, I'm going to get the factors first, then I'll take their logs. So what are the factors of 10 to the n? Well, it might be good to break it down to its primes, 2 to the n times 5 to the n. And it's pretty clear now that all the factors are going to be products of powers of 2 and products of powers of 3. And I guess also 1's a factor, shouldn't forget that. And then just 2 itself and 5 it's 2 itself, like 1 prime. Or it could be a combination of 2 primes, maybe it's like 2 squared, you know, 2 repeated, or 2 times 5, or 5 squared. Or a combination of 3 primes, like 2 cubed, 2 cubed repeated, or 2 squared times 5, 2 times 5 squared, and 5 cubed, and so on. It can be systematic, and eventually I'll end up with 2 to the n, 5 to the n. So actually, I know the factors. They all look like this. They all look like 2 to the a times uh, 5 to the b. Okay, factors can do it. It looks a bit messy, looks a bit involved, but at least I know what they are. I want the logarithms of the factors, okay? I can take the logarithm of something like that. That's not too bad. Using my log rules, I know that multiplications become additions and the little exponents come down out front. So the log of 2 to the a times 5 to the b would be a times log of 2 plus b times log of 5. So I know what the logarithms of these factors look like. I can handle that. So far, so good. I'll take my successes as I, as I can take them. And now I want to do the, what is that? the sum of the logs of all the factors. So I'm going to take the log of everything here, work out that sum, and I'm meant to get 792. Oh, well, let me do that. Let me write out this, the uh, sum of the logs. Log of 1, great, plus log of the next factor, just log of 2, plus the log of the next factor is 5, so it's log of 5 plus log of 2 squared, so the 2 would come down, so it'd be 2 log 2. I'm being a bit messy because I don't actually need the details too much. Log of 2 times 5 would be log of 2 plus log of 5, plus log of 5 squared, 2 times log of 5, the 2 comes down, and so on. List it all out, and at the end have, what, n log 2 plus n log 5, and then I write equals 792. All right, well, in sort of in theory, I've kind of done that, but I don't know how to handle that. And that's a whole mixture of logs of twos and logs of fives. In fact, log of zero, log of one is kind of straightforward, so that's zero, so I don't even have to think about that one. But logs of twos and logs of fives. But there's going to be a whole combination of logs of twos and a whole combination of logs of fives. But the trouble is, what I've got here is so messy, I don't know what the, how many log twos I have. I don't know how many log fives I have. Ugh. All right, all right. So, okay, I just took a deep breath because obviously I feel like this went nowhere. Well, it went somewhere, but not helpful. Um, maybe the problem is that my list is a little too disorganized. I mean, obviously I went by sort of like single powers and double powers and triple powers. Maybe it's the wrong way to organize the factors. In fact, if I want to get, say, how many log twos there are, maybe I should focus on those factors that have all the twos. Let me have the powers of two in my mind. So instead of listing the factors this way, let me sort of make powers of two as my focus. So back to the factors of 10 to the n. So a very messy board technique here. This is my scratch paper, remember, so this is what people don't see, except you get to see it. Um, okay, factors that involve powers of 2 would just be 1, 2, 2 squared, 2 cubed, all the way up to 2 to the n. Definitely have those factors. Or I can have these factors again with a single 5. So another list of factors would be 5, 2 times 5, 2 squared times 5, 2 cubed times 5, and so on up to 2 to the n times 5. And then I have a list with all the 5 squares involved, and the 5 cubes, all the way up to the 5 to the n. So I have like lists of lists. Okay, but now I've made the powers of 2 very much my focus. I don't know if it's helpful, but let's do it. Let's take the logs of these guys and sum them up, and I'll do the same for the next list and the next list. But I'll just do one list at a time and see what it looks like. Okay, again, messy board technique. This is my scratch paper. I'm allowed to be messy right now. Log of 1, not going to bother. Log of 2 
plus uh, log of 2 squared, the 2 will come down, log of 2 log 2, log of 2 cubed, 3 will come down, plus 3 log of 2, all the way up to n log of 2. In fact, obviously it's a common factor of log of 2 because I kind of set that up. This is log of 2 times 1 of them, plus 2 of them, plus 3 of them, all the way up to n of them. I'm excited. Obviously, I, I had a funny you know, way in my voice just then, because I remember from my pre-calculus days a formula for the sum of the first n numbers. I actually know a formula for that. Which makes me think, I'm going to get a formula for the next line, and I'm going to get a formula for the next line, and a formula for the next line, all the way down. And then I have to cross my fingers, because what I have to do is sum up all those individual formulas and get one big formula. But I'm feeling hopeful that it can be done. So I'm going to stop there with this moment of hope. And I'll leave the rest to you, actually. I'd like you to pursue this if you can. Take this further. See if it actually goes somewhere. Don't forget, we're engaging in successful fla flailing. We might not get there. It might not work. But it might shed light to yet another approach that would work. Try it out. And when you're ready, compare your answer with the essay that goes with this video. I, mean, I have similar thoughts. On, I have thoughts on this too. We might be similar in how we're thinking. All right. So have fun with it. See how far you get. And let's compare answers. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.